Okay guys, so this morning I just thought I'd do a really quick how-to video. I um, went to get my daily herbal tea and I find I was almost out. So I'm making up a fresh batch. This is my tea that I have, I try to have once a day anyway. Not all days get there, but if I get no other herbal teas drank in the daytime, this I try to get done. So I just call it like lady tea or women's tea and I use... Um, red raspberry leaf, uh, red clover flowers and dried nettles. The nettles are actually out the garden, I dried them myself. But these are from Star Child in Glastonbury. But I do have some red raspberry leaf of my own dried when I've run out of this. So it's really easy, just equal quantities of each of the three. So I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls of each in a bowl. I'm going to drop that. A little more generous on the red clove. I really like that. And some of the raspberry leaf. A bit more of that. Give it a stir. And then I just pop it in a jar. This is just um, an empty salsa jar. I'm making a mess. Get a bit more in there so I'll do one more spoon of each give it a mix pop that in and that's it and I'm going to have a cup, so I just use one of these tea balls and I fill one half of it. I don't pack it in tight, but I, you know, I press it in a wee bit. And if, for example, if I was on my bleeding time and I had cramps, I may add to that. So I might add a, a teaspoon of dried catnip or catmint or something like that. Um, or if... I was really stressed, maybe I would add a pinch of skull cap, something like that anyway, but I don't take out from this, I just add to it. So I'll just close that up, pop that in my cup, and that's ready. When I boil the kettle, I'll just pop boiling water on, and that's it. Easy as that. And I'll just keep that with my other teas, and I keep those with them, and that's it. Hope that was helpful. Also, I forgot to mention when I was recording, but... This is perfect for making some of like uh, childbearing age, as they say. But if I was making this for, say, my mum who's gone past the menopause, I would add um, an extra ingredient and I would do an equal quantity again of dried hibiscus flowers.